Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Penny. Um, so basically today's video is going to be about, um, or today's video is basically because someone asked me under this post, I'm going to put it somewhere here. So I've decided that, you know what, I'm going to do a video where I'm basically going to describe five methods or five ways that have worked for me during my six years of study. So before I get into that, I am Penny. I studied six years of medicine in Russia and now I'm doing, I'm specializing in um, anesthesiology and rheumatology in Kaliningrad. So let's get straight into it. Number one, something I always advise my juniors, get yourself a mentor. Get yourself someone that, for example, will give you, will explain even the guidelines, how first year is going to be, what you're, what you're supposed to expect. Um, what books you're supposed to use, what notes you're supposed to write, how the exams are going to be, all those things. Like, go in prepared. Make sure you get all the notes. Make sure you get everything from... Because you remember, you're not the first person doing this course and you'll not be the last person to do this course, you know? So it is fine to have the struggles that you think you're having, but it means there is always... You can always find a solution to it. Get someone that will guide you, get someone that will mentor you, get someone that will explain things to you. When you don't understand, there's so many people that, for example, when I was in first year, I had a, a, a senior that I, I went to and I told him, um, I went to her and I'm like, explain physiology to me. I don't understand this. And she said, because she understood, she was already second. She understood it because she, probably the teacher explained it to her from different angles or she kind of like just captured it. You don't have to be able to capture everything. Go go like i always say you know what it's always easier for you to steal information from other people because it's easy if someone understands something why can't you just go and ask please explain this to me and then you are filled with all this knowledge and you can give it to someone else when for example they are um they come to you and ask for you to mentor them so that's number one number two so what are the advices do not rewrite the books do not rewrite the textbooks but rather summarize you have to know a difference between summarizing and rewriting something you know in grade 12 we used to rewrite all that just because we can't write or highlight in the textbooks so we basically rewrite the textbooks and then we study from the notes that we rewrote from the textbook don't do that in medical school it's going to take a lot a lot of time um, a lot of your time and you don't have time because you have so many subjects that you have to study so all i'm saying is summarize your notes and study your notes during your summary so what do i mean by this this is going to fall under my third topic i for example i use intellectual cards you can have a um, specific app i'll show you now in a few minutes so so for example this is an example of my um, intellectual card i used it using the app Kogo. so so for example as you can see in the center i have propofol which is a non-inhalational anesthetic and then for example up here i put what are the form the dosage, the form of dosage that you can give it, for example, here we have like I wrote up here that, for example, for the indu induction dose, I have this specific, for example, for general anesthesia, I can give this amount and for just a sedative effect, this is what I can give. And then up there, you see there is written Pakazania here. I wrote, for example, what are my indications? Then I have my indications up there sorted and down here I have my absolute contraindications and I have everything there sorted. So when you are going to study, like, for example, you can just imprint this entire um intellectual card in your brain and then when for example the teacher asks you in class or wherever for example you know that mm, i put my indications up there so they were this 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 so that like this you can for example like organize your your thoughts and even the way you put it in your brain it's like in a in a proper full cabinet you know what i'm saying it's just better than right reading everything from like black and white like just rereading everything and not having it organized in your brain and that comes when you don't really know it comes along with confusions and stuff like that and it makes it very difficult for you for example to keep your medical information so now imagine like i didn't do this before but i would advise you if you're like for example currently a third year second year or fourth year that you can for example like do things like this for diseases let's say for example let's go back to my favorite appendicitis then you can put for example appendicitis here in the middle then up there you put what are the clinical pictures then what are the diagnostics and for example for your anatomy you can even draw yourself like a a, a picture here or for example how the appendix and what is neurovascular and for example the vessels and stuff that are all they how they where they come the innovations and stuff like that so then you have like for appendicitis you already have like an entire picture already there so when you come in fifth year or sixth year and you're doing about pharmacology and stuff then you can just add your dosages how to treat what to do what surgery you have to do and stuff like that and then you have the entire picture there so when you start start like internship or residency you already have like 
an entire appendicitis summarized. So this is something I didn't do, but I was just like, mm, if I knew about these intellectual cards before, because this I started doing it for my residency, then I would have done that for kind of like all of my stuff. Yeah, for those ones that I'm able to like, for example, have like a picture like this. So yeah, please, 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 please download Coggle or just look at any other apps where you can um, draw intellectual cards. You can do this online for anything. And then you can just have like, um, then you can just, for example, have like I have, let me just show you guys here. I have, you see, I have, for example, already fentanyl, bupivacain, lignocaine, morphine, and ropivacain already summarized. So, for example, if you go to my morphine, you see, I already have here, even put, for example, what are the tablet form, the injection forms, and, for example, what are things that you should not do or things that, for example, what are the, you know, the no, 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 no with morphine and stuff. And then I have the effects, and here, for example, you know, you see, um, I have, for example, on which receptors they act on the delta, the ME or the kappa receptors, you see. So I have like an entire nice picture of morphine already summarized for when I'm having my exams. So this is something that I really wish I did before. I started doing this. So please, 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 please download Coggle and just make things easier for yourself. Put it in colors. For example, if you don't understand what are the um, contraindications, then put them, for example, in your favorite color and then it's easier for you to understand it or, or not understand but it's easier for you to have like kind of like have enthusiastic to kind of like study it oh i love this so please 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 try doing this and i hope it's helpful one thing about me is i am like a, a colorful person i like things in color i like things drawn i like things decorated i like things so it's easier for me to understand when things are in color, if that kind of makes sense. So I make all my things in color so that I remember, okay, here up, it was the definition because I made the highlight red. Here was, for example, the treatment because I made it in green. And the treatment is this and this and this. And down here, I put, for example, what are the pharmacodynamics, what are the pharmacokinetics. And here I put what symptoms will the patient have and stuff. All those things, like, you have to kind of make yourself some notes that will kind of stick in your own head doing examinations or for example when you're going to answer the teachers like in russia we have rascasas where you do um you don't write but you basically have to tell the teacher about the notes my fourth point is you can't know everything in your first second third fourth fifth or sixth year one thing you have to understand is you're going to be a doctor for the rest of your life so start um for example from the first year master something master a little bit of anatomy master a little bit of physiology in second year then you go full force in that master things don't rush in wanting to know every single thing at, at once the appendicitis or master append um, cholecystitis before you can even think about the treatment because if you don't understand this entire process there's no way you'll understand the treatment there's no way you'll understand how the patient will react after the treatment there's no way you'll understand for example you will um correspond the symptoms to something you don't know do you understand my way yeah exactly my fourth point my fifth point is dear students if you fail it does not mean you are a bad doctor or you're going to be a bad doctor failing basically means listen penny you need to add on what you think you know you, you understand because i'm like there's no human that will study for 12 hours or 24 hours go fail a test and you come back and think you're a bad doctor it's impossible what you have to understand is just like what the teacher asked or the test that you wrote about you didn't really have fully understood the information that you think you were reading so basically what failing means to is go back and add to what you think you know now you will still pass the test the next time do not be demoralized just because you fail do not listen to someone that tells you, you know what if you fail you're going to be a bad doctor it's impossible how many doctors how many doctors have failed a subject i did and listen I myself a very good doctor in a sense that i am willing to listen i am willing to ask i am willing to go all out to understand something that's what makes i feel like i will be a good doctor i am a good doctor for what i know now and if i continue with this pattern of humbling myself of asking of um 
going back home and reading onto something, drawing, making intellectual cards, reading the textbooks. I'll be a good doctor in the future. I'll even be a better doctor in the future. And that's basically what what medicine is all about. Like it's what medicine is supposed to be about, you know, supposed to be for bettering yourself until you consider yourself a master then something you come and you continue for bettering yourself until you get old and basically die that's med speak about some of the apps that i've used during my medical school and that i use up until now number one teach me anatomy students you cannot be in medical school without that app teach me anatomy it's personally personally for me it's explain anatomy to you in layman's them anyone can understand anatomy just by looking at teach me anatomy it's like your own personal digital teacher that is explaining anatomy to you so download that app number two emboss emboss is an app that um it costs money so I'll, I'll for example advise you get like five or ten friends that are willing to share the cost and then you all download it and um you can share it i think you have like a year subscription or two years subscription or three years subscription so you can decide on that and you can use it. it's also a very good app especially with the physiology with the clinical um pictures and the um, diagnosis diagnostics and stuff like that it shows it like it explains everything and for example if there's a specific word you don't understand you can like click on it and then that it gives another different definition so that's really good and one of um Another app that I just found out when I moved or when I was living in Germany was DocCheck Flexicon. DocCheck Flexicon is basically a German app. It was created in Köln. It all, it's a little bit similar to Emboss, but um, it's much summarized. Yeah. So for example, let's talk about, um, again, I'm going to pick the append appendicitis. It will give you, for example, the whole, like, what are the clinical features, diagnostics and stuff like that. And then down here, for example, it might give you, for example, how um, inflammation of the appendix look under ultrasound or for example, um, stuff like that. So it gives you like an entire clinical picture of what it's supposed to be like. So also download that. Doxychuck Flexicon, it's called. It's a German app and you can literally translate or just change the language. And then M MSD Manual is also a very good app that you can use. It's also similar to Emboss, but just... Um, less i think it is less information compared to to emboss i'm not really sure but i think yeah and then okay another last 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 advice is for medical students if you are not able to buy medical textbooks if you're not able to afford them if you're not able to find them anywhere else or download them for free there's a app or an organization called z z a z library this is basically a library that was created by some organization to help um to be able to have access to books for free so if you need any medical textbook any book that you need you go to z library and you download it you can download it on your laptop you can download it on your phone and you can use it to study any trust me any i just downloaded now the um guyton and whole textbook for medical physiology because i need to touch up with my physiology currently with my anesthesiology study so i just downloaded that and it's it's open here for free so use that as well that's it for my side i hope all these five points that i just spoke about were helpful if you know of any medical student that is struggling or this just currently going through a hard time please share my video share it to them give it a thumbs up comment down below if you are also a medical student and have other um, um, tricks or methods that you also um, use that have been helpful for you so that some some of my um, subscribers can just read down the comments and get that information. And also, if you know of any other apps that are useful for you or have been useful for you, please um, comment down below just their name so that some of my um, people in my zone or some of the medical students that are currently subscribed to my um um, channel can just also find that in the comment down below please give this video a thumbs up share 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 it to any other medical student that might need um, this information that i just portrayed in this video and um please let this community become bigger 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 and bigger and yeah good luck with your studies you are capable um god would have not put you in this journey if you knew you were not capable so don't listen to the haters just um yeah continue going Thank you.